So here we have the Ford Fiesta on a 69 plate. I'm going to start off by hopping inside the car and running through some controls first of all. Okay, now that we're inside the car, I'm going to start with the dials. Over on the left-hand side, we have the rev counter. We have the speedometer on the right-hand side. In the center at the bottom, the fuel gauge and cool and temperature gauges. And above that, the main trip computer, which includes the total mass of this car. They are 31,153. We have a digital readout for the speedometer in that section. You can change information displayed there using buttons on the steering wheel. So you can see there we have the trip computer, vehicle settings, your telephone audio menu, uh, your driver assist, and then back around to the beginning again. The buttons I was using to do that are just here. We have stereo and phone controls beneath that. Stereo controls continue on the left, along with cruise control and speed limiter as well. And then over in the center, we have the main touch screen for the car. We're on the audio menu at the moment, where you'll see we have AM, FM, and DAB radio. Bluetooth audio, so you can stream your music wirelessly. We've also got two separate USB inputs. If you plug devices into those uh, that appear up here as further options. This car's also got a Bang & Olsen stereo system uh, as well. Back out to the home screen, this is where you pay your phone. Search for your vehicle on your device and select it once it is found. And then working our way down, we have the main volume for the stereo. We then have the air conditioning. So you can adjust the fan speed, the temperature and the direction the air is being distributed in. The air conditioning's on at the minute, so you can turn that off, back on again uh, from down here. You can recirculate the air that's in the car. That's a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly, depending on the temperature you've set uh, here, of course. We've also got a heated rear screen and a proper heated front screen just there as well. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see this ULES compliant car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to call either of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.